50 years, I was not here. I was in Hong Kong. At that time, Hong Kong, well, still is a very private city in the world. So I kind of grew up during the Vietnam War time. I still remember in Victoria Park in Hong Kong, many ships from the Hong Kong, they are not ordinary ships. They are battleships. They were actually aircraft carrier. I myself one day was during this school trip, end up in one of those carriers, the Enterprise in Hong Kong, up in the Victoria Harbor. What? Every day in 1960, what I heard is the airplane, the helicopter, the marine, the army, the army of the south, the army of the north. There's so many bombs, but at the end of the day, it's not about the, it's not about the, the helicopter. It's not about the soldiers. It's about the laws of human life. So this is Vietnam. That's my understanding of the Vietnam War. I was in my teenage. I have to confess, I don't exactly know, like Senator, how much you know about the Vietnam War and also the president over here. What I can tell you is it is atrocity. That's why I myself having a limping leg today that I told myself I must <coughs> come to this place. Again, President Lee, Senator Gong, Mayor John Tory, all the guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be here on this solemn occasion to share a message of solidarity with you on behalf of Premier Wing and the government of Ontario. Today, we are here to remember an unspeakable tragedy, the heartbreaking loss of innocent lives. We remember that even after the passage of 50 years, the pain is still felt and the scars run deep. Today, we remember that war and conflict leads to atrocity, that history seems to endlessly repeat itself, that humankind consistently fail to learn important lessons from such merciless violence. This is why it is so important that we are here today. We are standing together to condemn all crimes against humanity. We are speaking up to acknowledge a horrific event we are reassuring survivors that this dark moment in history and its lasting impact will never, never be forgotten. I would like to commend the Vietnamese Canadian Federation for your commitment to organize this commemorative ceremony. The Vietnamese community in Ontario is an important component of our rich multicultural mosaic. Your members have contributed in so many ways to help shape our promise into the strong and vibrant place we are so fortunate to call home. A home of harmony and peace, a global village of hope and dreams for the future, and a model for the world of the values of justice and human rights. Thank you. Thank you so much for your effort to build the awareness and understanding that is so critical in helping us learn from the past in order to protect the future. It has been a privilege to share this message today to pay tribute to the victims, to help shape a world 
that's more caring, just, and respectful of the tremendous beauty and value of life itself. Thank you. Thank you.